Hey guys, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. I am really, really excited for today's episode because we are, one, jumping back into the main quest today, finally. I'm so, so excited for that. Um, and two, we're actually going to check out the 2.1 update that just came out. Um, I have not had a chance to see any of it yet, and I'm really, really excited. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on it today, just because I know a lot of you want to go experience it for yourselves, and that's not really the point of the Phantom Liberty playthrough to begin with, so, um, but if you guys do want to skip ahead, I do always have, um, timestamps in my description if you guys weren't aware, so, um, so yeah. The changes in question really quickly, um, spending more time with those you love. Really, really excited for that. Um, unfortunately, I have not romanced anyone yet in this playthrough. My first playthrough of Cyberpunk, I romanced River. Um, I'll probably romance him again this time around, to be completely honest. I love River. And I do want to see like the extra romance options that we get. Then we have Explore Night City in a brand new way, and this is the, the Metro. So I'm really, really excited. We are going to check that out today. And then the easiest one to check out is getting to walk around Night City with music playing, which is literally the greatest thing in the entire world. Like originally when I heard about this update, I was like, yes, the romance option, like I'm, or the romance options, I'm so excited to get more time with them. But then thinking about it even more, I'm pretty sure in one of the episodes of this playthrough, I said, I really wish I could walk around and listen to music. <laughs> um, so here we are. So we are never not going to have music playing at this point. Um, I, I love it so, so much. I love the music in this game. I literally listen to the music in this game um, when I'm not playing the game. <laughs> like I'm just in everyday life listening to this, like when I work and stuff. So um, I am really hyped for this. Also, they, um, I don't know if you guys saw, but Cyberpunk won best ongoing game. I know there's, I know there's been a lot of, not a lot, but I guess there's been a bit of controversy about Cyberpunk not being an ongoing game. It was a bit different from the other games in the category, but I don't know. I think they deserve, they deserved it. They definitely deserved um, they definitely deserved a, uh, award for something, to be honest. So I'm really happy it was that. They put so much work and effort into this game, and even when they say they're done, they're not done. Um, okay, so first things first, I see in the bottom left, we have the ability to listen, oh my god, a radio port. So it's kind of like, not like headphones or anything, we just kind of like have it ported into us, which makes a lot of sense. What do I want to listen to? I've been trying to get more into Growl. Oh, we can change the volume? Let's go, guys. That's nice, too. I don't think that was something we already had, was it? Um, okay, so then that's cool. We have that. I want to see, like, the train. So I don't know how that works. Like, am I... Is it going to be on the map, you think? Oh, no, 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 look. That's the metro. Oh my god, is there one around here? I don't think there is, which I guess would make sense. Since it's like, Dogtown's like pretty secluded. Okay, let me fast travel, I guess. To my apartment? No, it's even more immersive. Like, so I lived in, in a city for... I, want, I think it was a little over five years. Um, and I took the subway all the time, so... This is my home. Um, it's a big part of city life. And while I never really like necessarily felt like I needed it or was missing it when playing this game, I really feel like um, it does make it a lot more immersive and I understand why people wanted it. Um, and now we have it. So it's awesome. I'm probably not gonna have music on all the time, honestly, while filming. I just don't think it makes sense because I'm gonna be talking a lot, but... Um, God, I'm a mess today, guys. Basically, I have the Christmas lights up. I have, you know, I'm like ready for the holidays. So that's why it looks a little bit different. I mean, not much different, but. <clears throat> am I okay? What am I falling on? I feel like V is just having weird <laughs> issues today. There's too much happening. Too much new stuff happening in the city. They all wear 
Oh, I thought this was like buy a train ticket. <laughs> Subtle accessories, not too many. Usually monochrome or like two, three colors. Less is more, right? That's what Neo Military. I can't give you anything. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm, exactly. Like you Look at this. This is so cool. Uh, where do we want to go? This map shows typical end cart service on weekdays. Departure times and train routes are sub subject to change. For more detailed information, please visit the end cart net page or check signs located at end cart stations. Oh, let's ride it. Why, what, am I, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm clicking the wrong button. Yes. Where do I want to go? Oh, I can only go... Okay, I'm taking the, the... What am I on right now? You can take the D or the E, I guess? Um, okay, let's do... Um, let's just go to, like, Haywood, I guess. <laughs> let's go. I wish we could have, like, walked on to the train, though. I'm not gonna lie. Yes. Oh, hills. Hi, sweetie. A Cantau AV has crashed outside of. Ah, I'll be late tonight. Standby door. Yes, yes, deadline can't oh, we can. All the time. Oh, you're exaggerating a bit, don't you think? Wow. Yeah. This feels like New York. I have obligations. Who here has been to New York before? Well, you're the one who asked. Um. Yes, yes. Oh, you can listen to music too. Him. Cool. Makes sense. Oh, I love this, guys. Really cool. Um, maybe I'll stand by the door. Well, Springs. Stand by the door. Okay, and you just get off. <laughs> Cool. I love that. That's cool. Oh. Oh, Coach Fred. Okay, cool. This has to do with the quest we did last time. Thanks for the help, V. Haven't seen Aaron this common ages. Boy's got a knack for teaching, that's for sure. Kids love him too. He'll make a great coach one day as long as he doesn't give up. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. I love that. I'm glad, I'm really glad that, um, we were able to help him last time. I was a little concerned about, you know, what was going to happen with him with the choice we made. Um, but it seems like it worked out for the best. So, okay. So now that we're off the train. Let's actually read this. Uh, dear NCART passenger, we are pleased to inform you that the technical problem with your NCART city pass has been resolved. Full access to all NCART services has been restored. That's hilarious. So that's what they're using as an excuse for why we couldn't ride the train before. <laughs> um, as compensation for this inconvenience, we have credited your NCART account with a promotional discount, allowing you to travel on any NCART line free of charge until the end of the calendar year. We appreciate your understanding and hope to see you riding with NCART again soon. Thank you for traveling with us, NCART customer support. Okay, I love that. I love that they came up with a reason instead of just being like, oh, it's available now. Like our card, <laughs> our card just wasn't working. That's good. Um, okay, so I think at the end of last episode, I got this message from Paco um, from the bar guest and I wanted to take a look um, and read that today. I didn't look at it last time. I just saw it pop up, but yo, we made it to Nairobi. Yo, Kenya's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Look at them. They look so happy. We're doing so, so much good <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Remember, they might come looking for you. Stay smart, you hear? Just don't go crazy. Go to ground for a while. Let the heat die down. Um, oh, I'm just going to stay smart. I don't want them to... Yeah, yeah, don't worry. i got to be real careful this time. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe I should have been a little uh, more more strict. All right. Our Metro card is good to go. Sweet. 
All right, so Seriously. now I think it's time we, we get back to the main quest. Um, we're going to turn this off. I don't think it makes sense to have it on when I'm, like, chatting with you guys and stuff. Um, but, yeah, so let's... Um, I do wish that this could take us to um, Dogtown or Pacifica. The, like, the most south we can go with it is uh, the Glen. Um, I do wonder if I can fast travel anywhere from here or if I can only fast travel to other metro locations. I have no reason to live. I have a feel... I have a feeling. No, I can't fast travel anywhere from the metro. That's nice. All right. So we are going to fast travel back here. Um, we are going to meet up with, I think we're going to meet up with Alex, right? So I am going to just double check that I am leveled up and then, um, then we'll just go. Birds with broken wings. Always thought it was Always thought it was in showbiz you couldn't trust a soul. Turns out, in hindsight, met a few good eggs in my time. But, man, all these cloaks from Langley? Guaranteed dagger in the back. And probably stuck there by a friend. You're getting played here, no doubt about it. But not much choice with our survival on the table. Just do me a favor. Ears perked, eyes peeled, and mind always, always razor fucking sharp. Okay, Johnny. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> He's so concerned. And I'm kind of like, is he concerned at this point in the story? Like, is he concerned for us or is he just more so just con concerned about himself? Because at some point, like something switches, you know, and they do become like, at least in my playthrough, my first playthrough and in this playthrough, I'm going to do the same thing where they become like pretty close. Um, I mean, I guess they are becoming one person, but I still feel like they're individuals who just care about each other. So I don't know. Okay, here we are at the moth. I'm I'm so excited to, to continue on with the main quest, but I'm scared. I'm really scared. Hello. Oh. Uh seen many bartenders in my time, but How'd you someone like you end up here. My owner bought me from some junk dealers, revamped, oh. reprogrammed, and finally infused me with her spirit. Okay. Gape Earth and this unhappy wretch in tomb. Or change my form whence all my sorrows come. The tree still planted in the unfinished part, not wholly vegetative, and heaved her heart. Uh, your programming sounds ancient. What can I get you? Uh, nothing. I'm here to see Alex, actually. Um, oh, whoops. So, you know what I realized last time? I'm pretty sure, yeah, I missed this. <laughs> when I was, um, whoa, green. You guys probably can't see this, but, um, <laughs> when I was editing the one episode, I totally had, like, missed, I saw that I missed that. Did I read this? I did. Still that weird knocking noise. I don't know what it is. Okay. That knocking, that literally drives me up a wall. Um, okay, let's go. It's, uh, it's just me. Okay. Let's go. Been here before, Reed. Uh -oh. Remember last time we had this convo? I do. And yes, the rules is not that different. But the stakes are. The classic copy and paste of ID matching bioscans, behaviorals. Oh, ah, v, oh. you're here. Sorry. It's okay. about time, too. We're nearly done finalizing the plan. No way. Oh. Hi. Um, mission not to your liking? I'm not sitting well with you, Alex. Reminds me of a few other stitches we handled. One in particular sticks out. Uh-oh. Before NC, we worked an op in Colombia. Ooh. Medellin. Song's not first now, mission. Alex. We have enough to do without digging up ancient history. But I need to know. 
Nah, come on. What happened in Medellin? What was the up there? Sorry, Reed. I need to know these things. had outsides trained on a guy who sat on the Colombian president's back pocket. Sold him smuggled corp tech. You saying the FIA pulls strings overseas? A lot of what we do doesn't get printed in the north sheets. Of course. Sheets. <laughs> of course anyway, we use we stolen say. identities on that <laughs> mission have to too. Say. Things didn't go exactly as planned, but that's a long story. I need to hear this. I think we can spare 60 seconds. Hell, might even learn something about so me that'll prove useful. Yeah. All right. You gotta tell me, bud. Our person of interest was one Luis Hernandez, arms trading heavyweight. We aim to plant our own SA in his organization. Alex had adopted the identity of an engineer from Hernandez's entourage. She was our ticket in. Okay. She walks in to attend a meeting one day. She sees one of Luis's bikini model girlfriends prancing out on her way to walk his doberman. Spending big money on Kit's luxury was kind of his MO. Okay. So what happened? Well, Somi had put together Hernandez's dossier. Problem was, an important detail slipped through the cracks. The engineer's abject fear of dogs. Cold sweat, shaky hands, soggy pant leg, that kind of fear. Oh. When the Doberman sniffed Alex's knee, she pats him on the head and says, who's a good boy? Oh, yikes. Then she went to pull up a chair at Hernandez's table. Before she could sit down, they had two barrels to her head and one trained at the base of her spine. What did you do? Well, my hands are bound, got a sack on my head, hear a collapsible baton snap into place, flack. I did what anyone do in that sitch. I lied my fucking ass off. Don't sit quite straight to this day, though. Okay, <laughs> back to Night City, folks. What? With our sights trained on a new target. Oh, good. Well, hopefully, it, uh, <laughs> hopefully nothing bad happens to us. I'm sure it will. I'm sure something bad will happen to us. It's never that simple. We parsed the intel from the shard Somi gave us. It's a solid foundation for the mission we want to run. Okay. Surveillance, recon, data gathering, planning, it's all done. It's high time we righted some wrongs of the past. Fuck off, Reed. Give it a rest, will ya? Nothing here's your fault. Woman's an adult, made her yeah. own decisions. Consequences caught no, up to her. No, she was manipulated. <laughs> there was no one around who could have had her back. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Mission details on this. I'd probably give her a bit more credit than that. Um... I don't know what to Are believe. Are you even listening? I, I am listening. <sighs> okay, let's just be nice, though. Like, I'm not going to argue with either of them what's right or wrong. Like, let's just help her. Stop worrying, Reed. We'll get her out. Save her. I know. And not just mm. her. Ladder goes for you, too. Thanks. Right. Our objective, to free Somi from under Hans's duress. Unfortunately, this ain't a normal rescue up. Because, well, she's been infected with something from beyond the Black Wall. Oh, a consequence okay, of her right. service to the NUS and President Mines. Hmm. I'm not about to pretend I understand the tech wise and how. The important thing is, if she doesn't get treatment, it'll kill her. The cure is an AI that lives on a neural matrix. Hansen possesses said matrix now. Okay. We aim to seize it. Okay, what do we know about so this? So, this neural matrix. How much do we know? Experimental tech nested in a mainframe that someone dragged up from deep beneath Dogtown. From a bunker, to be exact. Part of Project Sinusure, a joint US Militech operation mounted in a bid to counter Arasaka's soul killer. The Matrix itself is a functional container. It houses an AI from beyond the Black Wall, and its design lets the user deploy the AI for a specific purpose. In our case, Ooh. to fix you in Songbird. Okay. All right, Flynn, let me hear it. Hanson and me with the net runners you already know. The meeting okay. itself is our chance to get close to Song and the Matrix. 
Hanson hired the French duo because they worked for Militech years back. Okay. But they know its security protocols inside out. Also, they're selling Hanson access codes. Handy when Songbird goes to extract the Matrix from the Sinusure mainframe. Hanson's gunning for data from what he knows was a secret Militech NUS research project. He has no idea the neural matrix is in there, too. Runners, scans, and behaviorals we have. Now we just need to take those twins out of the equation. We know who they are. Hey, Merrick and Aurora Cassell. We know anything more beyond what we saw firsthand. Yep. Songbird put together full profiles for both. Okay. Super short brief. They got their start at Militech and dove in deep. That is, till they learn the pay's better on the dark side. I buy that. Sure didn't hide their love of Eddie's. True. <laughs> mm-hmm. Gonna miss that next paycheck, because they ran into us. We're gonna nab them before they reach Hanson. <laughs> Kidnapping that, oh god. Okay, yeah, so, so Songbird pulled their, like, dossiers, or made their dossiers, or whatever, right? So... That's oh, why the they were nervous beforehand. I'm just trying to like remember everything that happened. Um, that's why they're nervous because last time she did that, it, it, something went wrong. <laughs> so we kidnap them. How we want to do this? I'm scared. <laughs> they're driving a rental while in NT, an exploitable opening. Okay. We're gonna track their ride and hijack it before they reach Hanson at the stadium. That's where you come in, V. We'll need you to breach the rental firm's tracking system. Alex will fill you in later. Okay. Once we have the runners, you'll take their place. The behavior imprints are tuned already. Okay, and then your role? And your role in all this, Reed? I'm drawing up your exfil route. Once you complete the mission, you need to get out in a hurry. Okay. I'll provide transport, make sure the path's clear and problem free. Okay. Brings us to the final stage, right? Meeting with Hanson? Right. Where you'll sell them the access codes to the mainframe. In other words, the key to unlocking your medicine cabinet. One of you will join Somi in the lab to feed in the codes when needed. Hansen's likely to keep the other at his side. Collateral. I'll stay with Hansen. You'll join Songbird. Okay. Once the data floodgates are open, you'll signal mm. me. Then a disarm Hansen, take him and his guards out. Oh god, this I don't know. I don't I feel like this is gonna go horribly, horribly wrong. I don't like this. <laughs> Hansen and his goods. Uh... Can you handle them on your own? can do a lot more than play dress up thank you <laughs> plus element of total surprise in my corner still if it's a surprise worry. if it's a surprise i don't know i don't know i feel like hansen might already be suspicious of the twins because he saw us with them in the Are casino or maybe songbird is I don't know if Songbird's playing us. Like, I just don't. I don't Sounds know. like Flatline and Hanson set in stone. Order came directly from Maya. Of course it did. Confirmed at the state. He took a potentially lethal swipe at the president of the NUS. And Songbird. Yeah. She did. Too. We have to rescue her. Maya's told you as much herself. All clear? Myers. Uh, Now's the time to ask. Myers is. I just feel like she's not a good person. <laughs> not the more I think about it. You don't have all day. She's the reason they've all just been kind of like screwed over. Um... Main goal, want to make sure I'm clear. We're springing Songbird free from Hanson's iron grip and seizing tech that's gonna save your lives. Okay. You and Alex enter the stadium as Hanson's visiting Netrunners. Yeah. Disguise is our key to the op. Okay. How much does Myers know? How much have you told Myers? What's she know? That Somi's fallen into the hands of the man who's organized the downing of Space Force One. Is that all? All for now. Hmm. She's not gonna like the rest of it. Okay. Let's just run through this one more time. Hopefully it's like quick, like a brief retelling. First step. What was it again? Just wanna make sure I'm aware. Securing a trace on the Netrunner's car. This bit's on you. Okay. Alex will expand on that in a minute. Okay. Meanwhile, we'll make sure the personality data and imprints are airtight. Okay. All right. Okay. Things couldn't be clearer. Let's get to work. So, time we talked about nabbing the runners? Cover that in a minute.
Okay. I love this little, like, area right here. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it just feels super, like, official. All right, any for your thoughts? Any for your thoughts, Alex? About all this? Honestly? Still wondering why neither of us went back to DC. That's what I'm wondering. Not me. Not Reed. It's really weird. They put him to sleep. Saddled you with a Dogtown assignment. Who are you kidding? Yeah. Say we disobeyed orders, gone back. A dressing down by some bureaucrat would be the worst we'd have had to endure. Think... Think we were both waiting for something. Like, the downing of Space Force One. Probably makes us a sad fucking pair of hypocrites. Waiting... like actually waiting like that was the job or waiting as in like they were just hoping for something v. crazy to happen to get out Myers doesn't know the deeds of this op does she never will is that right it's not wrong <laughs> so we serve Hansen up on a silver platter it'll be salutes and handshakes shit goes sideways we're royally fucked yeah welcome to the agency <laughs> All right, what's Reed's priority? What's the lowdown on Reed? You know Reed better than I do. What he thinks? What's his true aim here? Saving so me or yeah. carrying out a mission? Saul imagines he's responsible for her. Always has. Thinks he's responsible for all of us. Hell, even for you, I bet. Mm. It's how he keeps his grip on reality. Life. With mixed results, mind you. <laughs> and so me? Same story as always. Dares, lands neck deep in shit, somehow crawls out. Rinse and repeat. Mm, sounds like V. <laughs> um, okay. Intercepting the runners. How do we do that? They're driving a rental. Plans to break into the rental service system. Karen Exotics. Specializes in rare models. Karen has tracking stations around the city. Gain access to those, we find the car easy. Okay. There's a station not far, near Pacifica Serenity Bible Church. Okay. Check it out. Okay, how do they work? Stations. How do they work exactly? They ping vehicle IDs across the network. Monitor location, tire pressure, all of that. Hack them, and it'll be open season on the runners. Oh, I can't say that. That's sad. This is what? Scab got your tongue? Intelligence? Yeah, it's intelligence. We're not smart anymore. <laughs> um, we traced the car, then So what? breach the station, trace the car. Good, what then? Use this little doodad. It'll pop the locks on the doors, let you take complete control from the trunk. Then so I'll, anything goes wrong, I'll be stuck in there. Suck it up. This is FIA trunk ops, soldier. Right. Seriously, though, the tech just works. Okay. And we'll have your back the whole way. Sure. <laughs> Never trusted tech like this. You know, Kabuki's tech wizards sell similar stuff under the counter. Would never call it reliable. Well, fed tech wizards are just more skilled than Kabuki's. Better be. When you think you're near a station, scan your surroundings. They're not concealed. Shouldn't be tough to spot. Okay. Get right on it. Does Reed have anything else to say to me before I go? No. I feel like there was something over here for me to read. EBM Petrochem Stadium Night City. Mm, AI control. AI regulated crowd control. Can it distinguish cyberpsychotic violence from that of self defense? Oh. It's always the question with AI, isn't it? What can it actually do? Because it's not a thinking thing. You know, it's not a, a being. <laughs> it's just tech. Alright, we got a little ways to go here. Whoa. Okay, so we gotta go back to the chapel. Yeah. That's where 
the voodoo boys are. Alright, let's go. Okay, access the tracking station receiver. Okay, how's this gonna work? It's not this, is it? The drone? Excuse me. Wait, it could be anywhere around here, huh? Oh. There it is. Let's see. All running away. Fast as you can. Mom, don't talk like that. You know it's not true. Think yeah, I don't, don't think I can get up there like that. Damn it. What the hell? This isn't college. You have to think. At least there's How do I get up there? Is there a way, like, inside here? Have you move in with me there? It'll be better for us. You tear someone up with their roots, they dry up. My home's here. Ma, you can't. Never mind. We'll talk later. Songbird? B, heads up. I can't talk long, but two things, quickly. First, good news. I managed to upgrade your relics firmware. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Don't worry. Completely painless. Okay. Relic upgraded. How'd Scared you manage me. it? No easy feat, I'd guess. Tweaking tech that advanced. Mm, let's say I've had extra time on my hands. More than I expected. Don't worry. We're getting you out of there. I know. First good news, you said. So there a second thing? Right. It's super important. Stays between us. It's gotta. Proof of my trust. Oh, God. I'm sending you coordinates. Come after dark. We should be able to talk freely. Okay. Okay. Need to Delta. But see you soon. Oh, my God. Okay. In songbird. I like I don't like that I have to keep it. Wait, they changed the sound of this. They totally changed the sound of that. Oh, it's weird. I missed <laughs> the old sound. Uh, let me up. <laughs> Wait, what's down here? Okay, how do I get up there? Is there a way inside? Animals are the craziest fucking gang oh, in the city. Oops. They need job, they'll take it. <laughs> Why is it not letting me up here? Thank you. I wonder. I I'm up here, maybe. Oh, we're we're glitched. <laughs> okay. Up here. Let's get up here. Up here. Oh. There we go. We're not entering the church. I've never. I've never never come up here. Also, what's with that? Am I gonna fight somebody up here or what? Is there anything else cool up here? I don't think so. Voodoo boys. Snake charmer. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Oof. What the heck? Arn Murphy. Hey, Artem. Heard you can get your hands on a bomb for me. You heard right. Well, I need the kind with maximum fuck shit up payload. Can I ask what you were fucking up? A church. A church? Yeah, a church. That one in Pacifica? That's the one. Make the voodoos go boom booms. That Well, that didn't happen. <laughs> They're dead. Uh, wait for him to pile in. I get on the roof and bust ass out of here. Out of there. How the fuck can you get up on the roof the way one normally gets on a roof? Why not put the bomb in the church 
or below it. Uh, why all the fucking questions? It's a roof bomb. End of discussion. <laughs> this Lauren sounds real smart. Uh, make death rain from above. <laughs> but the building won't collapse. You don't know that. Yes, I do know that. Just get me the fucking bomb. <laughs> you are a stubborn shit. Oh, apparently the radio's on. I must have clicked something. <laughs> Anything else with you? These people were like chilling up here. Okay. Great. Just great. Incomplete. I ain't got a problem, Alex. Gonna mm. take more than breaching yeah. one station to recreate the encryption key. Fuck. Give me a second. Had we been more okay. smart, got we could have determined that ourselves. <laughs> um, where's the next one? God. No. Think we're good with just one more? <laughs> it's a car rental company, for Christ's sake. How sophisticated a system can they have? All right, let's get to it. I'm. I, Good I, luck out there. And raise Reed as soon as you grab that encryption key. I do appreciate that they've made things a little bit harder. Like, if you don't specifically have um, the right, you know, I guess perk or ability or whatever, then. And you can't have all of them be high level. That just doesn't work that way, you know? So. He's not really that smart when it comes to that kind of stuff. And that's just how it is. <laughs> oh. I just missed the, spa the, <laughs> the parking spot. The large ass parking spot. Ah! Ah! Everyone's always running for cover. Was this the site of another quest? Oh, oh. <laughs> please, please. There it is, right there. Um, can I? Apparently, I'm no longer good at uh. Climbing stuff. I used to be like pretty damn good. Help! <laughs> I also feel like the jump is not as high or something. Maybe I'm just imagining it. Looking for something? Oh. Won't find it here. Nothing to find. Um. Uh, is that your mom? Hey, is that your mom? Is she doing all right? Uh huh. She's fine. You sure about that? Oh yikes. No, maybe you ought to tell someone. Nah, she just came down from two days of BD. And she'll wake up soon, snarf a scop dog, and cry about having a headache. She always does that. Okay. Um, look, I work for, uh, Karen Exotics. Karen Exotics. Exotics. I work for him. Need to fix our transceiver. Whatever. <laughs> wow, what a rough life for those kids. <laughs> Parked. No way. It ain't working? <gasps> Jesus. You want a hint? I can tell you how to fix it if you really want to fix it. Old people need help with this stuff sometimes. We so, call old. <laughs> yeah. Turn it off first, then turn it back on. You know, I can tell you where to look for the on button for a thousand ads. Interested?
Do I want to pay her? Do I want to just figure it out? Because I'm sure I could find it myself. But, like, I do also kind of feel bad. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. <laughs> Eddies are all yours. I have so much money. Nova. Done deal. So, Switch. Where is it? I don't know exactly. Around here. Telling you where to look, not where to find it. Just like I said. How about we'll to? play hot and cold. If you're close or far, we'll holler hot or cold. Let's start playing. You'll get it. I... Okay, you know what? I can't actually be mad because this is kind of interesting, but still. <laughs> All right, it's up here somewhere. Warmer! Getting hot! Over here? Warmer! Getting hot! Over here? Where? Oh, here. Warmer! Getting hot! Shut up! <laughs> what the fuck? My BD! No! <laughs> no! And the best fucking bit, too! Jank ass power grid? You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> We're back on, baby. You got two surefire fixes. Hard re Oh no. Yo, yo, yo. Don't even think about flatlining here. <clears throat> I'm gonna touch a corpse. <clears throat> this this gotta be what having a fucking stroke feels like. Ah, uh, fuck. Ugh, this fucking sucks. <laughs> Preaching to the choir. What's it? Relax, kid, okay? I'm not flatlining. All, all she cares about is not having to touch a corpse. <laughs> They're so desensitized, it's terrible. Okay. Well, now we just gotta meet Songbird. Man, when, I, when I, the kids in this game make me really wanna, like, you know that meme? Who is it? Is it uh, Michael Jordan on the meme that's just like, fuck them kids? <laughs> that's literally how I feel sometimes. <laughs> uh, okay, An encryption key received, nice work. I'll get a start on tracking Aurora. Oh, how do you pronounce her name? Aurora and Emmerich? As soon as they're near Dogtown, we'll know. We're in business. Signal from the tracker is live. Don't forget, once you get the green light from S, you contact me immediately. We're at a point now where a delay could sabotage everything. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, let's read this really quickly. Yo, V, N54 News told me to kick rocks, so it looks like you're all the audience I got. Just don't say you got it from me. So there's this Rinder goon in the stacks. Shum's so whacked out of his damn mind, he shot up a bunch of kids down there. Peeps is saying it's gotta be cyber, cyber psychosis or some cult shit or something. Hard to say what's worse, honestly. Anyway, old Ronnie's gonna keep away from the Chum. Think you should too. He's dead. I'm still not totally sure that I liked my choice with that i feel like i should have sent him to regina and actually helped him i feel like i help everybody else i don't know why i didn't help him i think i just really let like the family of the dead you know the family of the deceased like get to me and i wanted to do right by them but that was a tough one um i'm just gonna say this yeah Bullet to the brain. Okay, well that's what I did. Well, fingers crossed he gets he gets what's coming to him. Well he did. Okay. Let us fast. Oh maybe he'll just let us wait over here.
Man, the sounds people spitting and coughing are quite lovely. Let me tell ya. Alright, song. <sighs> what do you got for us? Well, here we are. Yeah. Here we are. Oh, gosh. You and me, face to face. Sure we're alone? Wouldn't want any unpleasant surprises. No surprises. Except maybe you're already one of us. Don't trust a soul. <laughs> yeah. True. Um, okay, it's not really random. This spot. Didn't pick it at random, I guess. Guessed right. Wanted to show you something. Means a lot to me. Could help put some things in perspective. Okay. Let's see it. And it means I trust you. Interesting. Come over here. I'm so fast. Sorry. Um. What? There we go. So what's so special about this place? Lived just two blocks off. Oh. While I was here in NC on assignment. What is this? Locals come here after sunset. Ooh. Fire up grills. Crack open beers. Cute. Talk about nothing in particular. Hmm. I'd swing by here come evening sometimes. All of it. Every inch is special. Reminds me of Brooklyn. Actually from there. Oh. Wouldn't mind hearing about it, Brooklyn. Hmm. Got this memory. It was the night before I raided a Militech data form. I'm sitting out on my fire escape. Just lit a J. Down on the street, I see a party starting. There's playful screams and laughter. Someone's blasted funk from their stoop. I hear Willie, too. Sells the best scoff dogs around. He shit talking one of his chews. And there's bonfire smoke in the air. Safe. Familiar. Were they celebrating something? Yeah. A Thursday. <laughs> I love it. Now how you feel? Wasn't anything like Brooklyn, my home, but... Got a memory you cherish? Never gets this peaceful where I'm from. Just know that wherever I am in the world, I feel like I'm walking Haywood streets. Hmm. You wanna go back? Yearning to go back. Don't blame her. Can't rewind the clock, V. By the time you realize you miss something, it's usually too late. <sighs> Suppose we should get back to the here and now. Man, this place is so pretty. I just want to do this very quickly. <laughs> be honest. Songbird, I need you to be straight with me. I... I helped Hanson spring the trap on Myers. I knew it. My end of the deal in exchange for the neural matrix. I down the plane, deliver Myers, yes. But blast her out of the sky, then hunt her down? Wasn't what we agreed. Mm. You betrayed her. Not just her. Nothing went according to plan. What a fucking mess. Of course not. <sighs> Sent Myers' entire flight crew to an early grave. Myers herself too, almost. Ground the plane. That was the plan. Didn't expect he'd blow it to shit. Of course he would. Not much of an excuse, I know. Hmm. So what was your plan? For you to rescue Myers while I secured the AI Matrix, and for us to run, all before Kirk caught on. 
Now Hansen's changed the terms of our deal. They'll make him answer for the attack. He knows that, so he's covering his ass. The one thing he doesn't know is what's on the Sinusure mainframe. He's hoping it's data he can use as leverage against the NUS. Says that's my ticket to freedom, but as soon as he gets his hands on it, yeah. I'm dead. Yeah. I just know it. I wouldn't be surprised. He doesn't play by the rules, so. It fucked everything up. I know V. But I had no choice. Still don't understand why. Was it any other way? Yeah. Honestly. There's gotta be more to it. Wouldn't have resorted to this if there was. She's so For pretty. Myers, the NUSA. Um, just another weapon in their arsenal. A tool for reaching beyond the black wall. Mm. It's always being used. And weapons and tools. They don't get to make decisions or choose to retire. Hmm. I guess I can sympathize. Sounds... Sounds painfully familiar. Think I know how you feel? I don't. Anyone understands this feeling as well as you do, V. You're the only one I can trust with this. Only question is, after everything you just heard, you feel the same way about me? This is so hard because I don't necessarily blame her, but she did act stupidly. Like, I just feel like when you're backed into a corner, though, like, what other choice do you have? Like, you just kind of do things without really thinking because... You're desperate. Why not just go home? My home burned down when I was forced to trade warm Brooklyn brick for sterile Washington walls. Mm. I have nowhere to go back to. Been one to ask, actually. What happens exactly, you know, when you reach past the black wall? Know the feeling when you try to remember the address of a place you lived half your life, but it just turns up blank. I mean, losing your memory? Mm. A snowflake lands on my glove. I can calculate its unique fractal structure. But what did my mom's voice sound like? Oh my god. Sometimes I, I lose control. Or get the sense I'm surrendering to someone else. Oh god. But it feels horrible. That sounds very, very close to home. Oh, the two. With the chimera. Like a live-in nightmare. Yeah. More and more, I get the sense someone's standing behind me. But there's never anyone there. Oi. Shoot. Don't trust Reed. Guy wants to save your life. Mm-hmm. He saved me once already. Word of a boss shit on Militech crossed his desk, so he knocked on a 19-year-old girl's door with an offer she couldn't refuse. Join and serve, or become a Netwatch trophy. That girl died that day. The person in front of you shit. is what was born from that death. That's why he of course, was guilty. Reed, he died too. Just more recently. Seven years ago. That's why the NUS issued his death sentence. Yet he serves the country to this day, clinging to something that's lost all meaning to me. Yeah, that's why he's so, like, adamant about helping her and wanting to protect her. Because I, he feels responsible for all of this. I feel bad for him too, but again, he was just doing his job. Get the feeling this is the first time you've been honest with me. Yeah, I hope she's actually being honest. Yeah, with you and myself. I need to get away from Kurt, then USA, Reed, from everything. Speaking of. Out of everybody out there, you saw Hanson as a trusty ally. Yeah, like, what Seriously? was the thought process there? I needed someone who could tear me from Meyer's grip. I knew him from my time in Night City when I was posted mm. here. Took a steep risk, all right. And a plain gonk one at that. <laughs> you tell her, V. 
That's why I enlisted you too. So, and see, just the first stop along your escape route. Night City is just a pit stop along your escape route. That was always the plan, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just... Things got complicated. Messy. Certainly didn't expect my old agency chooms to get involved. Or to find myself caged by Kurt. Yeah. I'm fleeing, V. Gotta get out. And to do that, I need you. Cause you... You know how it is. Yeah, I need to know that I really can trust her. How am I to know this isn't an elaborate con? Be nice to have some kind of guarantee. But what, though? V, I don't even know. I can't give you one, sorry. Mm. But I've shown you my trust. I mean, you're free to sell me out to Reed, right? Or trust me enough to save us both. No guarantee for either of us. Fair deal, I say. I don't know that I want to sell her out. Oh no. Okay. Say I believe you. What's the next step? We go through with the mission, grab the neural matrix. While Reed and Alex grapple with Hansen, we make our getaway. Oh. And then. Oh my god. Just ditch them? Mm. You help me skip town. I already cut a deal with the Black Clinic far, far from Night City. There, the Rippers can access the Matrix and use an algorithm to create a prototype of our cure. Oh. They'll need me present to run their tests. The moment they're finished, I'll send word. Oh, that's like the other ending for Cyberpunk. That's it. Everything. Shit. Like a weight off my shoulders, honestly. Now, I have to ask. You're in this because you understand me? Or because I promised to save your life? No, I don't like having to choose one of these. <laughs> You're in this because you understand me or because I promise to save your life? Yes. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> understand you and trust you. I do understand her. Want to survive just like you do. Don't trust you, no, but I've got no choice. Under Okay. Understand you and trust you. I don't trust her. I don't know that I, I oh, or do I? <laughs> I don't know. I also don't want her to not trust us. So it's like, I'm gonna pick this first one, I think, but it's not like totally truthful. I understand you, believe you, know what it's like to fight for your life. Every minute of it gives you a new perspective. Doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I do trust uh, her. I guess that's all. But I don't. Oh, I suppose I don't know. you should call Reed. Let him know all set for the meet with Hansen. Shit, man. This is kind of crazy. I want to talk to Johnny. Can I talk to Johnny? Can I? Oh, I want to. Uh. R. Uh, hey V, now that you got those pesky tr transceivers all sorted out, how about stopping by the moth? Kick back, take a breather, already got a bottle open, the kind for special occasions. What do you say? The hardest part of a mission is always the waiting. Hell yeah, thanks for the invite. Sure we got time for that? Uh, yeah, yeah. A little drink won't hurt. Might want to hurry, this bottle will not last long. Um... I guess I should meet her first and then call Reed. Fuck. Oh no. I'm a little bit concerned with what is gonna happen in, in this story. I I don't know, man. This is the perfect song to listen or the yeah, the perfect song to, to dwell on our our life here. <laughs> oh 
like the only song that I'm able to listen to on this station. This is in pom pom shit with the copyright. <laughs> I know I said that I trusted, like, I don't know why I keep saying, like, like, I don't know how to explain myself. Like, why is it that I can't fully say that I trust her? Because it's not even like I completely distrust her. Like, I, I think that she's telling the truth. So why is it that part of me still kind of feels like I don't? And I also, I understand her reasoning for, like, being upset with Reed, but, like, at the same time, like, he was also just doing what he thought was right or what he needed to do, you know? Like, I feel like that's the problem. Like, everyone kind of... Everyone in the moment thinks that they're doing the right thing. Um, and then afterwards, they, like, regret their, their choice. But I feel like they both have just been doing what they thought they needed to do. Like, But she was young. She was only 19 when he recruited her. So I, I can understand, like, she wasn't... Sure, you're an adult at 19, but, like, are you really... I don't think I'd recognize you on the street today. Your room's exactly the way you left it. Just as messy as the day you disappeared. <laughs> I ain't your criada, boy. And you clean it when you come back. And I'll introduce you to Sofia, her baklava. Oh, man. You just have to try it. There's so much catching up to do. It's been 10 years. Was it 11 already? Tequila. It's like making me cry a little bit. Just talking to his brother, I guess. <laughs> this is like my favorite location right here. How beautiful. That shot of Johnny just like stand or kneeling in front of it. Oy vey. Hey. Hey. You made it. I got a head start. A drink to calm the nerves. Mm. Good to see you. Appreciate the invite. Glad to see you, Alex. Sweet of you to say. Mm. I wrote you because... Because I needed someone to talk to. Someone outside the firm. Okay. And not some total rando. To take my mind off the mission. Not worry about being someone else for a millisec. Hope that makes sense. Hmm. Getting nervous before the op. Uh, wait, take my mind off the mission. Not worry about being someone else for a millisecond. Okay. Okay. So, what do you want to talk about? I mean, it's not like I have an agenda typed up. <laughs> I just want to be a normal fucking person for a little bit. Myself, specifically. Just me. Just Alex. Mm. I like the sound of that myself. Just shed this skin and leave the Night City Merc behind. Hey. Yeah. Like, who are you anyway? <laughs> mm -hmm. Good question. With all the shit going on in my life lately... A damn good question. And definitely too soon to know for sure. Yeah, you're young, V. Say, you ever think about who you'd be now if, you know, life had taken a different turn? Hmm. Oh, I want to say Shriek Kid. But I don't know if V wants that. I feel like V wanted out. <laughs> I'd leave Night City. As soon and as far yeah. away as possible. Jeez, what'd this city ever do to you? A lot. <laughs> everything shitty that's ever happened to me. <laughs> yeah. And everything good. Oh. Well, aren't you a ray of sunshine? Sorry. <laughs> to your health.
Okay, now you. Who would you be, if not a secret agent and master of disguise? An actor. Hmm. No hesitation there. Always dreamed of seeing my face on a show bill. I love musicals, especially. Seriously? <laughs> Call me old-fashioned. So yeah, guess I'd be a brain dance star. Hmm. That's cool. <laughs> That's why she does all the, the like master of disguise stuff, you know? <laughs> hmm. You have a dream role? Got any dream roles? Norma Desmond, Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> Guessing that doesn't ring any bells. It doesn't. Mm, not a single one. Not for me either. <laughs> no surprise. It's ancient far as films go. I have a soft spot for tragic characters. Mm. Not to mention I see something of myself in her. Neither of us know when to let go. Hmm. No. To our dreams. To our dreams. For they alone keep us sane. Ain't that the truth? Yeah. Gotta have something, something to reach for, and to hope for. <laughs> oh, I love this song. It's never what it seems when it's all I'm ever missing And it feels as though I'm waiting Got cowboy boots on and I don't need no head in my hands To know I'm <laughs> <She ever did. laughs> head away south Oh man, we're gonna dance with her? I think I'll find it Let's go. I love the way V dances. Don't do this often, I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, do what exactly? This mean doing shit. Just cause. Oh. No forethought. Carefree relaxing. Yeah. Sometimes I make Vigo dancing. <laughs> so that's not totally true. <laughs> this is fun. I love that they've added this in, like just showing V like living in the moment. I needed more of this in the main game. I mean, we do get. We do get points where that's the thing, like with Carrie's quest um, on the boat, but that was fun. Hmm. We'll see you on BD posters in no time. Mm -hmm. I know it. First, retirement. True. I don't even get to say goodbye. See you soon, V. Okay. Yeah, well, I will see you soon. This was nice, though. Okay. Let's, uh, let's call Reed. Be status report. Reed, hey. I'm Nova, thanks. How are you? <laughs> Put a cold beer in front of me once this is all over. Yeah, it's then all we'll business. Time to chat. For now, fill me in on what you managed to get done. So me contacted me. Got news. Let me hear it. Well, first off, we've been greenlit. Our VIP's ready to be served. Music to my ears. What else? Songbird opened up a bit. Better sitch. It's looking bad. Real bad. This tech's her only shot. I hear you. I do. All the more reason to focus on the mission in front of us. Get our hands on that cure. I don't know if I want to tell him. I don't know if I want to tell him. B, one other thing. You need new chrome. An implant that accommodates behavioral imprints. I'm sending you deets for a clinic. A doc could be expecting you. Just tell the Ripper you know she collects unification war trinkets. She know you came with my blessing.
Okay. I chose not to say anything else. I don't want to say anything just yet. Thinking about our conversation, couldn't shake this feeling of deja vu. You awakened a memory that had faded, one I can enjoy again. Memory of what? Another conversation I had once with a close friend. Honest, real, no ul ulterior motives. We, after all those years with the agency, questioning every word, every gesture, every twitch, always looking over my shoulder. Do you know what that's like? Uh, do I, re does V relate to that? I'm like, maybe after the whole like Arasaka thing. Call her. What happens if I call her? Not pump, not pump on shit. I guess we. I guess I wouldn't be able to call her. Okay, yeah, but I did not. I chose not to tell her, so I don't know. I mean, I chose not to tell Reed about her. I don't know if that was a mistake or what, but okay. This is kind of ruining the moment here. <laughs> the music, this other music is so intense right now. Oh, probably because they were fighting out there. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi. You Farida? Yes, and we're closed. Oh. Uh, here you can collect souvenirs from the unification world? Got something might interest you. I doubt it. Here you collect trinkets. Unification war era. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come in. Thank you. I'm sorry I was unwelcoming. Ever since a certain space plane crashed nearby, I've had to be more cautious. Yeah, that makes sense. V, good to see you. Oh. Uh. Was I... Was... Did I know he was going to be here? <laughs> um, hmm. Who would have thunk? <laughs> here to see me? Things are in flux. Situation's changing fast. Oh, God. I thought we should talk. I'm here about Somi. Oh, God. He knows. I spent hours wrapping my head around this. He knows. He knows. <laughs> putting myself in her shoes. I needed to understand what she must have been going through, too. To resort to treason. What do I say? What do I say? Um. Nope, can't understand. You're not dying. He's gonna twist that to be like, well, I am dying in some way. <laughs> um, I'm dying because I'm s I've been stuck here. Uh, sure, you got your priorities straight. She Hello? changed over the Earth seven years. Say You're that's in no I'm... position to understand, Reed. Your life ain't on a timer. But I know death. Yeah, I knew he was gonna say something. Up close. <laughs> She's trapped. Not just here and now, but going months back. Hell. Actually years. Yeah. I blame Myers, the sore loser. Does her damnedest to avoid it. Songbird, the black mm. hole, dirty tricks meant to give her a competitive edge. Yeah. It's no wonder Somi doesn't trust anyone, except maybe you, a little. Yeah. Song should trust you, not me. That it? Mm. I can't say I really blame her. I can only blame myself. Yeah. But could you have done anything differently? Something, anything, instead of giving in and being exiled in Night City a couple thousand miles away. Mm. Yeah, he really just let it be what it was. Like, he's like, all right, I'm trapped here, didn't try. There's a prison cell prepped and waiting for her already. 
Somi knows that full well. Did I know that he knew about this already? Am I like- She lives to see tomorrow and every day after. That's what matters. Meyer's needs are alive, sure, but forgive and forget the attempt on her life. Never. Yeah, come on, man. Myers might not forgive her, but doesn't mean I can. But you work for Myers. You're going to do whatever she wants you to do. Coming from a federal agent saying you want to get her home doesn't sound so warm and fuzzy. I will get her home. Exactly how remains to be seen. Okay. We break the chain Hanson wrapped around her neck. Then what? Yeah, what's the plan here? We stow away somewhere safe. Ask some questions. Establish some common ground. Once I get the answers I'm looking for, I'll personally help it disappear. Will from you? Everyone, everywhere, including Myers. Will you actually? Want to ask her a few questions, huh? Will you actually? To understand her side. Got an idea already of what I'll hear. System broker. Almost took her life. Like it did mine. As for me, well, my time's well past. But Somi's still worth saving. That is treason, you know. You know, some would call that treason. I think he wants to help her. Tell me something I don't know. Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna have to make a decision, aren't I? I got contacts in Europe. Oh, we'll find the best clinic, put you two back together, fix what's broken. Once we have your cure in hand. But I need to help Somi first. She's lost, and I'm concerned she doesn't know what she's doing. You don't trust her? What I don't trust is the shit from beyond the black wall and the attendant paranoia. Yeah. Both in play here, I'm afraid. She has another plan in mind. I'm damn sure of it. Okay, I, I do know she has another plan, but I don't want anybody else to know. And I don't want her to know about whatever happens here with me and Reed either. <laughs> Keeping it all to our chest. Uh... Read you loud and clear. So what's it all mean next? I have something for you. Our best minds in DC cooked it up. What? Icebreaker. Silver bullet against any fortified net runner. Farida feed it into your system during surgery. Uh, Use that, and Somi will drop unconscious within a minute. Oh. We can't take any chances, and when she wakes up, she'll wake up at home. Crap, guys. Okay. She could sense the breaker. Not talking about some run of the mill runner here. Yeah. It's meta heuristic, hyper aggressive tech, cobbled together by a literal army of experts. If she does sense it, it won't matter. No one out there, alone, could withstand somebody like this. Sure this soft will work. Dad, it's been tested on anyone at Songbird's level. From what they tell me, this program can anticipate what she'll do before she even thinks to do it. Interesting. By the time you cut one thread, it's already found another. Okay. A precision-guided weapon designed to evade countermeasures. Okay, how do I use it? Fire it up when you're both jacked into the mainframe. At that moment, Somi's door will be wide open. Mm. Sure hope you haven't botched this. Well, that's a hope we share then. Right now, we're mm. focusing on saving your lives. Talking time will come later. It's time I was on my way. I leave you in Farida's able hands. They really make me go back and forth so hard. Like, Call me once you're done here. I don't the know. The sooner we begin, the sooner we finish. I need to do anything or... 20 questions first. Should I hold your hand? Okay. No. Do nothing. Brood. Tush, meet chair. Okay. Okay. Anesthesia incoming. Don't worry, it's the good stuff. Relax and submit. An ID modding implant is complicated tech, true. But the procedure is surprisingly simple. 
Okay. Don't tell me to submit. Um. Hmm. So, are you a Night City native? Some small talk. <laughs> Yet more questions. <laughs> Did they tell you nothing about not delving? We're just nervous, but, okay? Yes. I'm from Watson. Oh, God. Oh, you gotta know Victor, then. He's a chum. You would truly be better off keeping things like that to yourself. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Great way to go under. Taking hold. <laughs> v just saying never. <laughs> That's on me. That's my bad. <laughs> uh. Ew. No, the noises. Oh. Ew, what is she rolling? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a big baby with stuff like that. <laughs> My face. Am I going on my face? Under my face? Or was that my face? Like, what is happening? This is crazy. Oh god, Johnny. Help me. <laughs> Ugh. What is that shit eating grin? How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> oh no, Johnny. Fuck off, please. <laughs> you missed me. Warms the cockles. Truly. <laughs> so tell me, what's it feel like to be a traitor? Doing what we gotta do, Johnny. Doing what I gotta do to survive. Figured you'd understand. Oh, fuck. Even talking like they do. Okay. Just using different words. What do you want from me? That's the job. No other way. For the greater good. Christ. It's exactly why I ditched the ranks. But seriously. Found yourself in a shitastic situation. <laughs> no, I was talking to him. Oh, here. Come on. Got iron in your hand. Got to put it to someone's head. Pull the trigger. The master spy and the agent unloosed. Tragedy, comedy, or both. Hmm. Tragedy with me as the victim, maybe. <laughs> Think one of them's trying to dupe me? No, they're both telling the truth. I mean, might be muddy on the nitty gritty, but their motivations are plain and clear. Survival. It's her be all and end all. That and she's a walking, talking nuke. Yeah. The kind that keeps making mistakes, never knowing which one's gonna set her off. And Reed, bastard and me are one and the same. Yeah. If I hadn't ghosted the army, I'd have become a Reed myself. Live and die by our principles. Mm, Johnny. That's the tragedy, V. Someone's gonna play victim to the other's good intentions. Try not to forget that when you're standing over that fucking overgrown neuro drive. Hmm. Well, what would you do? Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll say I'll say what I'm thinking later, but... <laughs> Reed or Songbird, what would you do in my shoes, Johnny? I am in your shoes, dumbass. <laughs> For every gonk choice you make. But I can't do dick. Okay, but... But honest to God, V, not fucking around? I don't know. Got no goddamn clue. Okay, well, thanks for being honest. Well done. The facial morph implant is online. Now all you need is a behavioral imprint. And do me a favor. Don't tell me what you need this for. Okay. Thanks for everything. Uh-huh. Right. What do I look like? Okay. I look the same. Jeez. 
This is crazy. Alright. Well, we leveled up. We ended this quest. I've seen that face before. We will do that next time. Um, man. Okay, I feel like I'm going to get some text messages or something in a second. I'm going to start talking and then we'll read anything that pops up if it does. Um, but that just seems to be the pattern. Um, okay. I don't know. Clearly, I'm going to have to choose between helping um, either Songbird yep, or Reed. What Johnny said really, like, made me pause for a second because he mentioned how Songbird just, every time she does anything, like, it just, it, it doesn't go to plan. Nothing ever goes to plan with her. Like, I feel like she can't see the big picture or something when she comes up with these plans. Um, same thing with her, you know, how Reed and Alex were talking about her not learning about um, the guy that they were going to be impersonating, not learning that he hates dogs or he's afraid of dogs. Like, that was kind of a big thing that, that she missed. And then the same thing with Hanson, like she just thought like things were gonna just work out with Hanson and he wasn't gonna just do his own thing in the end. Like, I feel like she's like lacking a little something. And like, I'm not necessarily judging her for that because like, I'm not, you know, that's that's something that I would do. I would just not think things through properly. So I get it. Um, but like in her line of work and, and all the crazy plans that she has and like how she's gonna get out of like her situation, like what, what, with that, the life that she lives, like, it's not good that she is this way. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm a little scared that going with her plan, I, I feel like it's not going to go to plan. Um, although I, 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 part of me does kind of feel like the other option going with Reed and Alex's plan, part of me feels like that's not going to go to plan either. Uh, because this tech that we're using, we don't know if it's actually going to work on Songbird. Because she is so smart, um, and she's such a great net runner, we don't know if it's gonna work. But I feel like the overarching plan, though, feels a little bit more safe with Reed, just because of what we know about Songbird. You know, Johnny said he does believe both of them, like they're both trust, they both mean what they say, and they're both being trustworthy. And I feel like I can agree with that. Um, I do trust Reed. I think he feels really guilty about Songbird. I mean, part of me worries that he's just gonna screw her over and give her off to Myers, but at the same time, I don't, I, I that's like a little part of me that feels that way, but overall, I, I feel like I trust him and I know that he wants to protect Songbird and I feel like he really feels responsible for her because in, in his mind, it almost is like he's the reason she's even in any of this mess because he recruited her. So, I don't know. I have a feeling it's gonna be a game time decision with what I do, but I am leaning, excuse me. I am leaning towards going with Reed's plan, but I don't know. Maybe I'll talk to Songbird next time and, and that'll change. I don't know. Let's, um, let me uh, read this. Well, V, it's game time. Everything on the line, but I'm with you all the way, okay? Not going anywhere. I know. Everything's gonna work out. <sighs> I'm gonna feel bad going against her, though, and, like, breaking her trust. I don't know. I do understand where she's coming from, but I, I feel like her best bet of getting out of this is Reed. Like, I feel like Reed is a little bit more seasoned when it comes to this kind of stuff. And the only reason he was stuck here in Dogtown for so long was because he just kind of let himself be stuck there. All right, right. just remember, don't analyze, don't hesitate. You'll only get inside your own head. See you soon. And I'm analyzing and hesitating so hard right now. <laughs> but, okay. Anyway. <laughs> 
we'll call read the beginning of next episode thank you guys again so so much for watching as always if you've been enjoying this series and you enjoyed today's episode please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe it would really really help out the channel and i hope to see you all in the next one bye